Hi, everybody. I'm John Rood. I'm the founder of Next Step Test Preparation, a tutoring company that does online tutoring. But I'm here today to talk about the future of college education uh, and whether or not higher education needs the college model. Uh, the first thing to think about is, you know, why is this relevant at all? Well, I've got two data points that suggest that it is. The first of which is that the is that student loans are totally out of control. You guys know this. So the average person that graduates the BA has twenty-three thousand dollars in debt. That's a lot for someone starting in a career. Um, that might be okay, except for the second data point, which is that the collegiate learning assessment, really the, the best way that we have to track whether or not students actually learn in college suggests that um, a third of people don't really improve their cognitive abilities during college. Um, that's not good, right? So what I want to do today is think about the three things that college is good at today and the alternatives that are on the horizon in the next three or five years. Um, selection, actually teaching things, uh, and the idea of credentialing. So uh, in terms of selection, the elite universities are probably always going to be good at this, right? So Harvard and the University of Chicago and Stanford and whoever else will probably always be great at training the nation's next investment bankers and McKinsey consultants, et cetera. Um, but one thing that technology has enabled is kind of another set of, of selectors, right? So the Peter Thiel Fellows is a good example, right? It's actually more selective than Harvard now. Um, and also startup accelerators, like Chicago's very own Accelerate or like a Y Combinator, essentially do the same thing, right? So from a huge pool, pick great people uh, and then graduate them with a fantastic network. Um, the second thing that college does is it actually teaches stuff. So you're probably all familiar with Khan Academy, 2,600 videos, millions and millions of page views. Um, you may also have heard about a Stanford program to essentially release their world-class artificial intelligence program to the world uh, and then actually issue a certificate of completion to those that finish it, right? So that, that's very different. Over 100,000 people uh, signed up for that. Uh, but stepping away from kind of these big brands, there's also this promise on the web of user-generated content, right? So teach anyone anything. Uh, I, I want to argue that's kind of a kind of a wild west, right? So there's so much great content, but it's not organized very well. One of the things that college has been really good at is putting together a program, right? So saying that if you come to our school, uh, we'll tell you what to do for, for four years, and at the end of it, you will be at least passably good at nuclear physics or whatever you happen to be studying. Uh, now, we have all the information we need, right? So Wikipedia, wherever else, those are all fantastic places to get information. But one of the things that I predict is going to be big over the next three years in terms of both startups and foundations is thinking about how to put programs together such that you know, you know actually what videos to watch, uh, what Wikipedias to read, and then you feel good that you kind of know the entirety of what's going on in a certain discipline. The last thing that college is really good at, and I think that this is the big challenge, is this idea of certification, right? Uh, we probably all know what that means. You might ask me, why is that important? Well, uh, for young people, it's incredibly important, right? You, you graduate from college, maybe you've had one or two internships, uh, but you really need that BA, right, in, in, in the mind of young people. And it's probably true to get that first job. There's a couple universities that are rethinking this model. So Western Governors University is one, an online university with 25,000 students. And they're focused on results and not seat time, right? So if you can go and take the 15 tests in accounting and pass them in six months, that's great. You've got your degree. So it's an alternative model. The other thing that I think is going to be increasingly big is certifications that are not from universities. And these have gotten kind of a bad reputation in the tech community, right? I mean, I think Google is probably one of the better ones. Um, but I think that there's going to be more and more of these. So people are going to want to trade their brand names as those big companies uh, for certification, right? So if you're, if you're a young person, how can you learn AdWords and show people that you know it without having your first client? I want to think about this idea, uh, I called it portfolio career management, and essentially what that means to me is that if you're a young person, it can be really challenging to say without that, so without that kind of BA certification what you're able to accomplish. So that's one of our big challenges is thinking about what's the next startup that will help young people do that. Um, I think that freelancing is going to be a huge part of this. So studies suggest that even after the economy recovers, about half of the new jobs that are created will be part-time or freelance. And if we can help young people get into those positions, even at you know, a lower rate, uh, and kind of work up and then put that on their, in their resume or in their management system for their career, that can be something that can show value to employees beyond the BA. Um, and of course, starting a business is also a great way to do that, even if it doesn't end up leading to these crazy venture returns, which we all want. Um, but if you're a young person starting to start a business, it's great that we as a community you know, value kind of any, any moves forward 
as a part of, of, of kind of beating that certification game with demonstrating value. So thank you very much.